<laughs> baby girl has tapped into her baby girlness. Okay, I think I look good. No, I know I look good. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you've not joined the family yet, be sure to hit that red button so you can be a part of us. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when my videos drop. As you can tell, there's a bit of a change around here. I mean... <laughs> I did the big chop. Okay, I did it. I finally did it <laughs> and it was shocking it was shocking to so many people around me i usually don't talk about certain things that i'm about to do this was one of them because i didn't want to be talked out of it and it was a decision that i had reached personally that i was like i'm ready for this okay like i don't want to hear any counter arguments <sighs> i took the plunge and i finally did the big chop it's something i feared all my life one because i thought my head was funny shaped i don't know where i got that from but okay and two because i think i placed too much value in my hair and those who know me know i love hair i love weaves i like wigs i love you know extensions anything that can add a little volume you know personality you know well i love hair and having done this was so it was such a big thing for me because of the growth that i've made and the understanding in myself in loving myself and just allowing myself to let go y'all know because I keep saying I'm such a control freak. Relinquishing control is not my strongest trait. So this, this honey, this was big, okay? This was big. <laughs> a few days ago, this past Saturday, I went with my younger sisters. That was my little sister and her best friend. And I was like, guys, I'm going to cut my hair. Like, we were in the mall. I was like, okay, we're done doing what we're doing here. Um, can I go and get my hair cut? And they looked at me like, my my sister knew, she'd known for a while, I kept telling her that I want to cut my hair. I intended to do it in this month, in the start of this month, but it just came to me like a nagging feeling of some sort that I needed to do it way earlier. I just realized how, A, how brave I am, and B, how much growth has happened for me to have taken this step september for me has always signified the start of something big and i've never known what it is but i've always just known in september good things come um besides it being spring i know it's so cliche but uh last year i started coached south africa and this was something that I had been for a long time thinking of doing and wasn't sure and was nervous about. But I took the plunge and I went into the entrepreneurial space. And then I started my boot camps um, as of last week, as in like this past Saturday. And that was also another step of mine that I was like, this is a new beginning. Like this is a big thing because now i'm building on the business so september has just been that month and this year i was even saying when um we were going through this lockdown motion i was like you know i feel like september is just gonna bring about some good things like i don't know what it is but i just feel in my spirit that september is gonna be a good month and Oh, so I'm saying is, we're on the first, okay? And I'm excited for everything that's to come. I like that <laughs> having come to this place of, like I said, relinquishing control, it's been a place of peace. Something I've prayed for throughout this year because it's been mad crazy, okay? And there's just been no understanding of what's going on all over the world but i've really asked god the theme for me this year has just been to have peace that surpasses all understanding and i can't tell you how many times things have come my way and i look back at how i used to be and how i used to respond to things and be like hysterical or like anxious with that peace has come growth 
and understanding in who I am in Christ and understanding God a lot more. And that's something that has pushed me in this area of growth that I've come to. I let go of the identity that I had of comfort has good hair and, you know, almost identifying myself by the physical things that um, people ov obviously like, you know, go and point out. Like, I'm not going to say being beautiful or being attractive is not important. Like, people desire that. People would like to be that. But I think when it comes to working in yourself, you realize that there's more to you than just your outer appearance. And really, for me, the one thing I was always struggling with from when I was young and making friends and losing friends and trying to be socially acceptable it has been knowing who I am and I always wanted to answer to whatever people would call me or whatever labels people put on me and I started to put all that aside and identify myself in what Christ says about me and when this started happening <laughs> this came about okay <laughs> regardless of how you may have come to the point that you're at embrace where you're at enjoy it allow yourself to go through changes change is good at the end of the day all of this changes as you get older but who you are in essence inside that stays with you forever regardless of how much growth that comes about but your character and the values that you have that's a lifetime thing but yeah, guys, this is a short video about my big job. I hope you caught some info, you caught some, I don't know, some wisdom from what I've said. And um, if you really liked it, be sure to share it with family and friends and also give it a thumbs up so that I can really understand how, you know, how much you enjoyed it, okay? Don't forget to also um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And leave a comment in the comment section down below. Tell me what y'all think about my hair or whatever, you know. <laughs> Let's know. I really like to know. I'm really gassed. Like, do you like it? <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> and yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. And as always, be awesome. Bye, guys.